Slime and Slay monthly tip. Well guys, welcome back to monthly another monthly tip of Slime and Slay Outdoors. We're going to be showing you a really cool feature from uh, Hummingbird. It's the Auto Chart Live feature. Um, first off, you're going to need a Zero Lines SD card and obviously a Hummingbird locator. Uh, the Zero Lines card can make you record up to, I believe it's like 1,000 uh, hours or something like that. It's uh, an incredible amount of recording. So um, we're going to plug the chip in power it up and uh, I'll show you how to start recording and then uh, we'll draw up a piece of map here and, and show you what it looks like. All right, here's our Hummingbird unit. I'm going to plug the auto chart chip into the locator and power it on. This is very simple. I'm going to be auto charting a spot. Actually, it's in the summer right now. Me auto charting a spot for this upcoming winter that I believe would be good for walleyes. It's a big hump. Um, so we're going to be doing that here today. All right, units powered on. I always turn down my brightness just a bit, but I guess today we can turn it up since we were displaying. All right, in auto chart uh, line is inserted. Uh, is now selected. The auto chart live is to save location. Hit yes. Um, all right, I'm going to go to. I already have a home screen set up, but here is a. The map of the auto chart, I did just do a little bit before this, uh, actually last year, but uh, I want to auto chart it this year. So what you do is you're going to want to hit menu and the drop down will come down. You're going to want to go down to auto chart live and then over here it will be record and just select on. And now you are going to be recording. Um, yeah, we're in five feet of water. Um, and if you want to go to get your good colors here of what uh, what it'll look like, you can go back into the Auto Chart Live feature, um, go to Auto Chart Live Options, and I've got my range set, set at a minimum of five feet all the way to 15. So that's going to show me deep water around 15 feet, very shallow red at uh, at five. And here's your color options. So. It's kind of easy to use. Um, it's all in the auto chart live uh, options there. So let's get uh, let's get recording here, and let's show you what it looks like. Right now we are just driving around, um, we're mapping it out. When I'm all done here, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's kind of hard right now holding the camera up and aiming it at the screen while you motor. It's so wavy out here today, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you when we're done and, and what I do to make it look professional, I, or perfectionist if you want to say, or professional as well. Um, yeah, we'll just keep doing it and we'll come back to you. Well guys, we've been uh, auto turning for about 10, 15 minutes only. Um, as you can tell, it's looking really good. Um, this hump, I still got to go down toward the tips. I'm working on the tips now, right now. So, a um, little update is what it looks like. So, this definitely helps you catch more fish if you have this feature, Auto Chart Live. Um, draws the lake map for you. Obviously, there is lake map chips out there, but uh, man, this uh, they're sometimes a little bit off on these humps or don't show it as much. And this will give you right where you need to be. So. Alrighty, let's finish it up and then we'll come back to you. Well guys, um, <laughs> I'm finally done here. It took me about, I don't know, 45 to an hour almost. I ended up going into this back bay. It all started connecting. It was really odd. Um, it's neat what you find when you use Auto Chart Live. Um, I'm, this is going to make me a very, uh, very more, um, what's the word here, uh, just uh, experience uh, to know where I need to be on the spot and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to show you now uh, what we drew and everything. So, 
So here it is. Um, we started all the way up here. I did clear the track, which I shouldn't have done to show you guys, but we started all the way up here and uh, ended up going up into this back bay. But as you can tell, uh, very neat uh, contours. Uh, obviously shallow is the, is the bright red. Um, and then all the way from the light blue to dark blue is the drop off. Um, you can tell it's a very sharp drop off um, like that is right on the edge. Uh, some of it hangs out a little bit farther than others. Um, but it was neat that this little point here, this is something that nobody knows about is that this finger here sticks way the heck out. It, uh, it really does. It's only eight, nine feet, but it hangs out. It's, it's really neat what you find when you draw your own lake map. So, um, and even in this back bay, there was a little uh, spot here that was shallow. It was right there in the middle of the bay, um, came up shallow. Hopefully this is focusing all right, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm just in love with this. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully this finds somewhat helpful to be able to draw your own lake maps. Um, I still got some more work to be doing maybe over here. You can kind of tell it's still bright red. Uh, there is an island over here. Um, right there is the, uh, the island right there. Um, so yeah, um, we're probably going to keep going and finishing this up for myself, but uh, this showed you guys how to do it. Um, again, it's menu, auto chart live, or auto chart, and then you go to record, just goes to on, and when you're done just hit off. But uh, to make it look like how I did, um, again, I was trying to get the highlighted area of uh, five feet, so you go to auto chart options, and the minimum range I have is set at five. The uh, max range is at 15 feet, and I could do different colors. So if I went to the fourth, here's that one. Here's a different one selected to five. Um, I just I just thought three looked the best. I liked how the bright red. Uh, uh, they have different options, but uh, I like three. Um, and then the only other thing that I do is that the contour intervals. Um, this is where you can set so it's a tighter range, or uh, if I went to three feet, or uh, uh, yeah, like three feet. You could tell that the contour lines aren't shown as much, but I like to know right where I'm at, so I go to one foot contour lines, so I know right where it's at. So, um, so yeah, when you're done, just make sure you record off, and uh, and then just power down the unit so it's all saved. Um, um, well, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video um, with me showing some auto chart live. Um, it's a uh, great feature to have uh, if you have a hummingbird unit. I'm not sponsored by hummingbird or anything like that. Um, I just really recommend using a hummingbird unit because um, of this feature auto chart live. I love drawing my own lake map for open water and yet ice fishing. So um, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, give the video a big old thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. And uh, yeah, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.